A little more than a year ago, Carte Blanche brought you the story of Rita Milieu. She founded CARE, a baboon rehabilitation center in Limpopo province more than 20 years ago. Because baboons are classified as vermin in South Africa, they are killed at random on farms, and this results in an endless stream of baboon orphans that find their way to Rita's door. The light at the end of the tunnel for Rita is when a group of baboons is ready for release into the wild. Rita Milieu started CARE 16 years ago, and she says her work has only one purpose, to place baboons back where they belong, in the wild. But this is not as easy as it sounds. Individual baboons cannot be released, because without being a member of a troop, they won't survive. No existing troop will accept a strange animal. So I started looking at the holistic thing. How do they live? What do they do? How do they fit in? I mean, you didn't need to be a genius to say, let's make our own troops. That's how we started, you know. Whereas before, baboons in captivity were doomed to live out their lives in cages, she's brought new hope. Rita's release manager is Stephen Munro. He has a science degree in animal care and he's a volunteer from Scotland. When he started working at CARE two years ago, he fell in love with the baboons. It's hard not to fall in love with them. And, uh, yeah, when, they, when they like you and you like them, then it's just perfect. So. The troop Stephen selected for this release is Henry's troop a group of 25 animals big enough to cope with the wild troop already at the new location. We brought three big males with us because then the hope is, is that they cross over to the other troop, the males from the other troop of which we know there were six when we done the census, come into this troop and then we get some genetic variability. Through these baboon releases, CARE provides valuable information to the international community on primate rehabilitation. You want it? A release literally begins months before the animals are actually moved, and it's done with as little disturbance as possible. This is why tranquilizing the animals is avoided, unless it's absolutely necessary. Tranquilizing them is, uh, it has risks. If you, when you're darting them, if you dart them in the wrong place, a uh, bad shot can, can be fatal. <laughs> and the stress, when you go in there with the dart gun, they know the dart gun and they, they they freak out and it's not nice to see whereas but despite trying to avoid stressing the animals the mature males in the group had to be darted there was no other way to stay clear of those massive canine teeth as part of the plan the smaller transport cages were put into the bigger enclosure months earlier so the baboons could get used to them. On the day of transport, some animals climbed into their smaller cages more or less willingly. Some, however, had to be caught the old-fashioned way, by hand. <laughs> 